Dr. Hello. Page. Dr. Hi, Page. I'm Simone. Hi, Lyman. How do you do? Diana. Lyman. We Hi. have a live stream going on right okay. now. So we're live streaming to, uh, to my, my YouTube channel, Physics Girl, okay. and to the Breakthrough Facebook page. We'd uh -huh. love to ask you some questions uh, sure, about sure, your sure. research. Uh -huh. So you are also part of the WBAP team. Yes. 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 And so what was your role on the so team? So I'm an experimentalist. So I like to yes. build things. Mm -hmm. And so I worked a lot on the design of, uh, I mean, what, if the overall instrument. So if you, mm -hmm. uh, especially like the optics, when you look at it and you see that design. So that was one of the things I led up. And So you were working worked. on the, the mirrors for yeah. the probe? Yeah. yeah. And then, and then the, for how it gets, you know, the radiation comes in from the sky, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it's a differential system, right? Because we can measure you, can yeah, you explain back for up a little bit. Right, so we measure our, our viewers what differential system sorry. is. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So we, <laughs> we measure, do physics, we yeah, don't do yeah, engineering. Yeah. Okay, so what do we? What's our goal, right? We want to measure these tiny, tiny temperature differences. Yes. Right. Yeah. Or, or energy differences. Yeah. We so don't we're want looking to measure at sort of the energy, the, the the temperature of the universe, of like the, the exactly. Yeah. Exactly, and and they're measured in in millionths of a degree. Okay, so we want to measure we want to measure them, and and we don't want the absolute value. Right. Right. We don't want the quote the DC value, the absolute value. We only care about differences. Mm -hmm. And so what? So the satellite, if you look at it, has two back-to-back -back telescopes, mm -hmm. and then we're always looking at the difference in the radiation that enters the two telescopes. Mm. And and if you look at them. They kind of look like TV satellite dishes, mm -hmm. right? Like you put on the top of your house. Right. To, to, that's because that's, that's more or less what they are, right? The, the wavelengths are, are about three millimeters to uh, about one, one and a third centimeters. Mm. So, all so within the microwave all wavelength the microwave range. Regime, but, yeah. but pretty large, right? So they can be forgiven. They're not right. shiny. They're just, they're, you know, it's got this nice dull coat on them. They're not really fancy, but they're just like TV satellite mm -hmm. dishes. And, and then it comes down through that mirror system, and then there's a set of, of receivers that takes that looks at the difference of them. So, what was the most difficult part of building that? Was there a problem that like really kept you up at night for a long time? Uh, there were a bunch. <laughs> I mean, at one point in the development, the, all the the coatings of the mirrors peeled off. Yeah, that was a bummer. That was pretty late, <laughs> <laughs> you know. And it's one of those things you just uh, deal yeah, with. You said, yeah. "Okay, we got to figure this out better." But the other, so you thing, just said you had to change materials. Like this was not while it, well, yeah. after it had been launched into space. No, no, no. Yes. This was <laughs> measured in right, months before right. it was going to go, and yeah. we went back and you know got it resurfaced and things like that. But you know, things, just problems arise all the time, right? You're just, you're just, then things you don't expect, and they come up, and you figure them out and you move on and hope you figured them out right and and uh, you know are careful and worry about it and all those things right. you're supposed to do right? right and and think about it a lot and and uh, yeah and so can we ask you one more physics yeah, question yeah, yeah, while yeah. we have you here so uh, so what we're trying to do with with uh, WMAP or what you know you've done because all right. the data is in right. um, is map the the temperature of the entire universe map the cosmic microwave background right um, is there any part of the universe we haven't mapped yet, or do we want to go into a, a finer resolution? What What are the next steps? Yeah, so so the, uh, there are two and there are sort of two frontiers, if you will. So we've mapped, and you know, after WMAP, the Planck satellite did did mm -hmm. a great job. Mm -hmm. So we sort of we mapped what we call the you know it's the edge of the observable universe, and so and so there are sort of two frontiers left. And one is to map it in, in finer resolution, just like you said, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so the resolution is, uh, so WMAP was sort of a quarter the size of the full moon, mm. and, and Planck was twice better than that. D does that mean like, uh, like each pixel or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah, you got it. Yeah, okay, it. cool. Yeah, so just imagine, you know, if you, if you took the full, if it were the full moon, you mm -hmm. took the full moon, you went chunk, 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 chunk. Yeah. We'd be measuring the, the the temperature minus an overall background in each one of those. Right. And, cut. and so you can do that in a full moon size or half a full moon size or a tenth of a full moon size. Mm -hmm. So now we're more down to the to the 20th or 15th of the full moon size. So that's Amazing. one. Yeah. And then the other one, another sort of frontier is WMAP. Uh, we measured the intensity fluctuations, but there's a, a you can redo all all the results from WMAP, almost all the results, 
by looking at polarization. Mm. And so it's like if you had Polaroid sunglasses mm -hmm. that you could see the microwave background with, and you put them on, you look up at the sky, and then you turn them 90 degrees, you see a different picture. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're doing that. And, and so that's that's something that hasn't been done, was looking at the polarization well, we of the light. We started with WMAP, and okay. we did okay. Planck satellite did better, and now the current instruments, we're doing way better. Got it. And so, and so we'll redo all, like all those cosmological parameters you hear about, we'll mm -hmm. redo those in polarization. Mm -hmm. Will be one thing, you know, we'll measure the Hubble constant again with another method in polarization. But one of the really exciting things that we're going after with like ground-based experiments are these um, looking for primordial gravitational waves. Mm -hmm. So these are are if you left over from amazing. the Big Bang, right. right? And they they leave a characteristic signature in the polarization. So we're right. really we're, we're all, you know, there are a lot of groups around the world, it's great, we're all, you know, competitive and blah, blah, blah. Right, and, right, right. And, and doing these measurements, but trying, to, and just making ever more precise measurements of the polarization mm -hmm. at all angular scales. Which would so, be incredibly exciting if it if it were to happen. I think that might yeah. be one of the, the right, yes, <laughs> yes. That be would be, exciting. right, one of the biggest, yeah. biggest breakthroughs in cosmology would be to, to see measure, yeah, 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 to see the polarization. Yeah, no, so. Yeah. Um, no, so it's a great field. Yes, <laughs> it's very exciting. Lots, lots to do, and lots now, more to I do. Mean, so, so with uh, we should let yeah, you go on, but, but one more question. Yeah. So with uh, with you know the recent with LIGO and the recent right. um, discovery of gravitational waves, right. do you think that we're closer to seeing these primordial gravitational waves from the beginning of the universe? Um, I'd say not not closer, but it's yeah. it's a nice perspective. So actually, there's, there's an interesting. So here's a comparison. So like. So the waves that LIGO saw, mm -hmm. right, they're the, the quote, the strain of those, right, the change in distance over distance right. was right. was uh, 10 to the minus 21. So that was about a human hair yeah, yeah. difference between here and Alpha yep, Centauri the, system. The amount that, that, that space sort of shifted. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the amplitude of the waves that we expect from the early universe, or we're, we're targeting, is is only is a human hair over roughly the height of us, apart in ten to the five. So the amplitude of these waves is large yeah. in comparison. Yeah. But they're on cosmic scales, mm. and and we can't measure them directly. We measure them through their their influence in the microwave right. background. Right. So. <sighs> So that's this the stuff. scale, this right? Is the so. <laughs> Diana, this is the physics stuff. heaven. I know, I'm yeah. in physics heaven. Oh. I can't. Congratulations. We won't take any more time. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Enjoy the event. It's really fun talking with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take Bye care. Bye-bye.